Hey guys, Archie Luxury here, Archie Luxury channel. Remember, like, subscribe, and tell your friends about my channel. Look in the description for 10 ways you can help me stay full-time on YouTube. And today, I want to answer the question, why did I buy an IWC, an IWC, International Watch Company, Ingenua? Why did I buy this watch? Why did I buy this watch? And I got to tell you, I was looking around for something, something I've never owned before, and I've had a lot of comments. Archie, what do you think of IWC? What do you think of IWC? And I've always said, they're not exactly great bang per buck. Uh, they, a lot of them use ETA movements. You're paying... You're paying Rolex money for an ETA watch. So when I decided to buy an IWC, IWC, I wanted one with one of those fabulous in-house, in-house movements. So I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, there's a great website I've, uh, Bound called Watchbase, <clears throat> Watchbase, Watchbase.com. And it basically tells you all the calibers, all the models. It tells you what caliber it uses. And I got to tell you, I got to tell you that I was after, I wanted an IWC which uses the in-house machine. <coughs> I wanted one with the IWC in-house machine. I didn't want no shitty EDA. I don't want no shitty fucking ETA. I paid big bucks. Big bucks. Big bucks. I want the real deal. I want the meal deal. The three-piece chicken and combo meal deal with the Pepsi fuckers. That's what I want. So, what I did was I looked into the history. What models of IWC did I like? Portofino? Nah. Portuguese? Mm. I wanted something modern. I wanted something with Gerald Gentra. Gentra? Gerald Gentra input. And... I decided to go for the IWC Ingenua. This is a very special model. This is the IW 322701. Now this uses, this uses an in-house machine. It uses the, it uses the IWC 80110 movement. This movement is a 28 joule. It has a 44 hour power reserve. 28 800 beats per hour and uh <coughs> it's hours minutes seconds this is a very cool piece and uh i gotta tell you it's a sexy sexy piece indeed and i gotta tell you i didn't want no fucking eda shitter in my iwc see the iwc is a watch that's known for its precision. It's got a huge following with the Germans. German Precision Engineering. So I really wanted a model which would complement that attention to detail. And I gotta tell you, nothing comes close, nothing comes close to the IWC, my IWC. This is a great piece. It's a fantastic piece. <coughs> and I got it, I got it. I wanted one with the in-house movement. I don't want no shitty ETA-based shitter. I don't want no shitter on my channel. If I'm paying the big bucks, the big bucks. I want an IWC. I want one with the in-house movement. That's what I want. I want one with the in-house movement. I don't want 
any fucking shitters. No shitters. It's shitter-free zone. So, that's what I thought. I thought to myself, you know, I really do want the best of the best. And this piece here, it kind of came up and... Um, I did a deal to get rid of some of these ladies' watches. I mean, those bitches can buy their own watches as far as I... I mean, I bought them because I thought I could sell them cheap on the channel. No nasty bitches. <clears throat> My MG Toe videos are too successful. No one wanted to buy the bitches a watch. So I thought, fuck it. I'll trade them, trade them in, and get an IWC... Schwossenhausen, Schwossenhausen, Ingenieur. And I didn't want any fucking nasty Valju ETA movement. Nasty, nasty, nasty. I want in-house. The 80110. It's a fabulous, it's one of IWC's proudest in-house machines. It's got the pendulum <coughs> winding system, patented winding system. It's a really cool watch. It's really cool. It's sexy. It's everything that you could possibly want in an upscale, in an upscale luxury wristwatch. And that's what it comes down to. Luxury, fuckers. I want luxury. I want the luxury ones. I want luxury goods. Luxury. Luxury goods. And I gotta tell you, I gotta, 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 gotta tell you. I mean, the IWC, it's such a cool wristwatch. This is a really, really sexy, cool wristwatch. This is what, this is a cool piece. And uh, I gotta tell you, tell me what you think. How's this for a lineup? Explorer 2, IWC, Explorer 2, IWC and Omega Speedmaster. Man on the fucking moon. Man on the fucking moon. Moon watch. Moon watch. And I gotta tell you, as a three piece combo deal, that could be the way to go. A three piece combo deal. Look at that combo, combo deal there. And uh, I, I gotta tell you, I mean, an IWC, that is such an interesting genre. It's such an interesting watch. It's a big, hefty fuck off. <coughs> Get out of my way, you piece of shit. I love them. I love the steel watches. The steel watches is where it's all at. And uh, IWC, IWC, what a cool watch. You can't, you can't argue with that. It is a super, super cool luxury wristwatch and that's why i bought the iwc i didn't want one with a shitty <coughs> i didn't want one with a shitty eda fucking movement i want it in-house i want in-house in-house you're either inside or you're outside i want it inside i wanted in-house movements and i gotta tell you i'm really wrapped in it the iwc IWC, <clears throat> it's using the 880110 movement. This is one of the best movements known to man. <coughs> so, there you go. That's the reason I bought the IWC. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. No ETA shitters for you.